Hello! Shoei here. I'm a carpenter based in Japan. Today, I'm doing some DIY work. Over half a year ago, I was asked to build a wooden slide from some offcuts. Finally, I'm ready to give it a shot. Let's begin! When I started my YouTube channel over two years ago, I made a few objects related to Animal Crossing New Horizons. But this is my first attempt to build playground equipment. Since it's a slide, I initially thought that I would just slope a plank so I could slide down it. I made a full-size drawing, but it was still difficult to figure out the right answer. I went to the park nearby and measured the slope. I believed that my plank would work, so I will go ahead with making it. Let's see how it goes. The surface of the slide at the nearby park was made of metal. I didn't measure it precisely, but the slide slope was around 60%. Run 10, rise 6. Again, that slope was for a metal slide, but I'm using wood. Initially, I thought of making my own slide with a 60% slope as well. However, the material is 30mm Japanese cypress plank, so I thought it wouldn't slide well. Therefore, I made the slope 70%. I'm expecting that the children will be able to slide just as smoothly as if they were on a metal surface. The wood for the slide is a 30mm Japanese cypress plank, which is typically used for floorboards. I plan not to use screws or nails for each plank like you would when installing a floor. I also considered whether to use many short planks or one long plank longitudinally. Ultimately, I determined that installing many short planks would be too tricky. So I decided to use one long plank. To insert the slide, I will be grooving both sides. Cutting grooves is a bit of work, but joining the side and sides would be easier. The slide has no major problems, but I am unsure how the one-off should be handled. Though I considered making the slide curved, I also figured it will be fine straight, because the cypress is processed slippery. In the end, it took me longer to plan than to do the actual work. I rounded the top to improve the design. However, I made it too rounded and the jigsaw will not enter properly. Jigsaws cannot be adjusted once the first cutting direction is incorrect. Making a small straight cut with a handsaw or chisel to start the first cut is the best approach. From there, the jigsaw will cut straight through at a right angle. But this time, I was lazy and didn't do that. I'm handling needs a part in order to fix it. As they say, all's well that ends well. The slide in the park had an internal width of 400mm. This plank is 440mm. I cut the joint portion and made it between 420mm and 430mm. The top of the slide side will be on the other side of the platform. The beginning of the slide will be narrower than that, but I think this will be enough space for children to slide down. This is my first attempt, so I am unsure of the right answer. It is very challenging.
The owner requested that it can be used as a normal slide, as a pool slide in the future. Therefore, there will be sides on the runoff. The bottom of the slide in the park is largely curved. I need to join two to three timbers on the bottom if I make it the same shape. That will require a lot of work, so I think one plank will be enough. <laughs> we tried sliding down the slide to test it out. Straight to the point, you failed. You will absolutely crack your tailbone. I even used a super surfacer to make it easier to slide down. As a result, it turned out too slippery. Due to the slippery surface and the horizontal runoff, you will definitely hit your tailbone. So I'm making the slope and runoff curve gentler. It's time to start over again, so nobody hurts your tailbone. I mix the slope gentler, 60%. Like the one in the park. Then I forcibly join a piece of plank to the bottom of the slide and place two more timbers under it. The slide sides can't be extended, so the runoff will protrude from the sides. I will fix it from here. Fortunately, the problem was at the bottom. If the side's top needs to be fixed, the fixed section will be visible from the back. By adjusting the slope, I hope it will be just the right sliding speed. Airplanes apparently enter steeply when landing on short runways. It seems to be an advanced technique that can only be performed by an experienced pilot, based on what I learned on an NHK TV channel. However, children don't use advanced techniques when riding a slide. They want to be able to slide down without hurting their butts. I was able to manage it. I was worried about the outcome, so I am relieved. Now, I can mix the tower with peace of mind. It'll be a ladder with two steps and platform on top. The children can slide down from there. This tower will be installed on the wooden deck, so it's the same height as 5 to 6 steps. I think the top will be at the chest height when one is standing on the ground. I'm using 106mm wide studs for the steps and the platform. It will be better if it was thicker. But as you will see after the slide is finished, sides will be on the outside of the platform. This means that the area people can slide on would be narrower if larger timber was used. The slide is wide when viewed from the side, so I kept the stud size as it is and makes the face screen comes on the sides. 
the 30mm thick edge would be on the front when viewing from the latter side. Though it's thin, it's not bad. I secure each section of the tower with screws. On the ladder and railing, I hide the screws with my favorite tarusen. A tarusen is different from a typical dowel. In Japanese, taru means barrel, while sen means plug. I believe the name came from the barrel bunk plug stopper. I use 15mm deck boards from the platform. These will be thick enough since the area is small. This section will gather a puddle of rainwater since it is horizontal and exposed to rain. So I leave a gap and design it like that. To create a smooth finish, I chamfer the corners of the railing. Now, I have finished building both the tower and the side. I temporarily assemble them on top of the full-size drawing. Next, I drill holes for the bolts. As mentioned earlier, the platform is on the inner side of the side sides. Thus, it was barely wide enough for an adult to slide down. Because the nuts on both sides can hit the hips, I drill the counterboards. It would have been easier if I could drill it before assembly. I use round flat washers since the outer side has a round shape. Due to its outdoor location, the slide will be exposed to the rain, so I apply enough foil to repel water.
applying oil to the slide surface might make it too slippery. Having said that, I can't avoid applying oil only to the area. Anyhow, slides are all about sliding. Now, it's time to bring the slide to the site where the owner has been patiently waiting. The installation process is easy, I just need to secure two bolts. Then, I set 300 yen bricks under the slide. Currently, the slide is on the ground, but the owner will be placing turf on this area. It's great that the children can land on the turf. I also think that setting up a pool under the side would be enjoyable. It would be dangerous if a strong wind blew the slide away. So I secure it from below using two screws. I finished building the wooden side. It was challenging to adjust the slope angle. However, the current slope is suitable for sliding into a pool. Carpenter's DIY. Here's how it's done. That's all for today. Thanks for watching.